Welcome back. I'm interested just on this point when you say black people haven't assumed the roles, I think. I mean, what do you mean by that? I mean, we have a black government. Well, what I, mean, what I mean by that, you see, I don't mean a, 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 a government that simply presides over the distribution of grants or public works programs. You're talking about reconstruction right? of the society. I'm talking about a government that has to do with issues of consciousness, right? Issues of that raise the consciousness of a people to a higher level. Okay. And, the, and those people then become self-reliant uh, because of that. What we have basically is, is a dependency. Whether it's a, de it's a, it's basically a cultural powerlessness. And with that cultural powerlessness, it seems to me that political or economic power is almost impossible. So, so the, how do you respond to that, particularly in the light of the fact that the Constitution was supposed to transform the very fabric of the society? When we look back 20 years, has that happened? The Constitution has been very transformative in many respects. Well, how do you respond to? How I respond to Kolela is that I would say that uh, the, you see, we'll always have an argument with Kolela about this. <coughs> That's fine. Uh, because in, in my view, the democratic institutions and the democratic values that everyone in South Africa now at least says they embrace those have been preserved precisely by the black people that he's referring to. Now, he doesn't attach maybe a great deal of importance to that. But you go back, for example, to a leading figure in South African liberalism, Leo Marquardt, writing about liberalism in South Africa in 1960. And he says one of the reasons why it has survived in this country is because of its insistence. He refers to us, of course, as non-whites, but he's talking about black people. Mm. On insistence by the black leadership. The fact of the matter is that the, the democratic values that are <coughs> there in our constitution were preserved over time by black national liberation movements, including the black artist movement he refers to. That is a fact. Now, <coughs> now, now what we have to talk about yes. you see, is having now institutionalized those values in a constitution, etc. What do you do with them? What and what I'm, what I'm yeah. saying we have done with them is to create an institutional framework in which the individual in South Africa, for the first time in the history of this country, actually had protection against the arbitrary authority of the state and of, you know, of other powers, but has uh, the ecclesi ecclesiastical and secular powers. Has the mindset changed? The mindset has definitely changed. There's a sense <coughs> in which, in a sense, black the, people the perform like old white people. No, 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 no. The mindset than... has definitely changed. You just had to watch the rally of the Democratic Alliance yesterday, their closing rally, yeah. to realize that the mindset has changed. Whereas, you see, for inst instance, right, there was a time when the Democratic Alliance, the Democratic Party, thought its future was to articulate the anxieties, the fears, etc of the white minority. There is a realization that the future is with the black majority. Well, that's, a that's, not, that's a number counting. That's a number counting. It's a number counting, but it's also, it, no, no, it's also a consciousness thing. Helen Siller does not toy toy for nothing. Well, she toy toys to get votes, I see. Uh, yes. I where does it come from? Does it, where does it come from? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll give you a chance, but how do you respond to that? I mean, <laughs> well, I know, I know a bit about the Democratic Alliance. Yes, but that's I might not I'm agree entirely you. with him. I think, you know, what we lose inside of is we talk about a non racial democratic well, country. I, uh, and I often think that actually we just reinvented racial bean counting with a much more moral well, purpose put, these yeah. days than perhaps in the past when it was profoundly an immoral policy. Well, how but do now you then respond to Professor Nunker's point about the fact that the that there hasn't really been a change in a mindset well, in, a, in, I would in a really say very foundational this, sense. Perhaps in that sense, the government or the state mm -hmm. uh, has a limited capacity to what it can do to change mindsets. I mean, oh. if I might quote an American judge, yes. Learned Hand, who said famously once, liberty lies in the hearts and minds of men and women. And when it dies there, no court, no constitution, and no bill of rights can save it. So but I'm not the, sure it's the government's responsibility, even the state but sector, the problem, but the to ensure of, that uh, South but, Africa is a democracy. But 20 years later, there will be people, and we'll talk about this next segment, who argue that, in fact, we're going backwards. We haven't gone forwards.
Well, I, I think, think it's a very a culture of corruption. There's a culture yeah. of a grabbing of elitism. It's there is not a culture of egalitarian transformation well, of the I kind think, that the Constitution I think the problem with South there. Africa, it's a paradox, and it presents both sides of that balance sheet. Okay. So the good, the bad, the right. ugly, the rapacious, the more noble. You've been very and Solomonic all of a sudden. No, no, I'm not, because, <laughs> you know, distance lends enchantment. I used to be in the, in, in, in the yeah, pits of right. the arena. Well, I, wasn't, I didn't but, get you, you had to be Solomonic. No, although you I, want think, to be I think that's true. But right. where I do think South Africa has a real problem yeah. is it wants to be non-racial and deeply racialized okay. at the same time. And that's perhaps something that is a contradiction right. and uh, an explosion. You started this, happen. so let's, let's, yeah, let look, me end with you on this look, point. I'll just say two things. You know, I mean, 20 years after our democracy, right, how many black-led think tanks do you have in South Africa, right? Maybe one no, three. Or, or three. Imagine, right? This is 20 years. But, but right? who's stopping Now, let me, let me continue. Who stops right? Have you seen? No, wait a minute. Dinero have you seen, have you seen a single book on Nelson Mandela by a black author? But who stops them? Now, now wait, that's <coughs> the point I'm making, is that here we are, right? Right, in, in this free environment. But what I'm saying is the cultural, intellectual, work that forms the foundation of any democracy hasn't happened and that's what makes me unhappy so i'm going back to the leadership right of and i'm saying that of the past 20 years and i'm saying that despite despite uh what some of us have been saying about the need to actually pay attention to this aspect of, of our lives which i think is crucial and central the production of ideas nothing has happened and the anc cannot come back to me and say they have achieved much uh, for black people, because in the final analysis, it's not but about it's not about just the housing and the food. Tell me the it's about how you shape society in the long term. If you correct, why are there not countervailing intellectual voices? There, are, there are. I know numerous talented people right across this country because who shut up and don't say anything, and they could. Because say over something. the past twenty years, a culture has been created under the ANC ah. government that is quite anti-intellectual, that is quite intolerant, actually. And I know this from experience. Okay, now that's an important point. Well, he's an intellectual, he's a... I know he's so, an intellectual. Uh, you are. And, and the question is, but, 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 but how many are there like you? In other words, and how many people... And you yourself, your own history has been one where you were not exactly treated very nicely at various points in your own history. Is it not true that there is a creeping culture of authoritarianism no, which no, shuts no, out no. ideas? See, uh, this is an, another area on which I always disagree with Colola. He's an alarmist and uh, a tendency to be hyperbolic. A tendency to be yes, hyperbolic. Well, now, I'll, now I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate the I hyperbole. I want you to demonstrate the hyperbole. I'll demonstrate the hyperbole. I have just argued a few minutes ago that the democratic traditions, which are embodied now and now institutionalized through our constitution, were preserved over time by black movements. He says, no, no. He discounts that. That's an important part of the heritage. But what hang on, yeah. hang on, let me make my point. I'm you talk you. too much, as I said before. Give us a chance to talk, okay? I'm, I'm no, 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 hang on. You carry hang on. on, please. Oh, you face me. <laughs> Wait. You're not supposed oh, to talk No, no, English really, English really. really. You ask on. us to come and I'm talk to you, Dennis. So give us a break. Carry on. Okay? Give us a it's break. It's no good moaning at me. Carry on. Now, that tradition of democratic ideals and values, which is now institutionalized in a constitution, preserved by black movements. He discounts that. It's unimportant. Then he says, ANC is anti-intellectual. There's anti-intellectualism all over the place in South Africa. I wouldn't say the ANC is anti-intellectual. And there is no culture of intolerance. He had an unfortunate experience. <laughs> with no the no culture of intolerance? No, no, he had an unfortunate experience with the Human Sciences Research Council. Yeah. When that happened to him, I said to him, I wrote to him actually, I admit that, and I said, no, stay in there and fight. He chose to back out instead of fighting. I mean, that's a choice that he made. But I want to come back right. to this point about Now, the culture intolerance. of intolerance that people are referring to, if you're talking about the fact that uh, <clears throat> there has been an attempt to legislate uh, in terms of state secrecy, mm -hmm. etc., mm -hmm. every society has that. And, and... Let us just remember this, that when it came to the issue of whether this law should be passed or not, you had a living democracy out there talking back to government, which had to rethink 
everything about that. Well, we'll cut. Well, okay, no, no, hang on. I'm going to cut. Sorry. That I'm, is part of I the legacy with a, from those black movements. I've given you your chance, crisis. but I have to take a break. And we'll get back up. I'll give the other two a chance. News that moves. ENCA.com.